Ed Delany, MMO Justin Wilson, 31, is entering his first year with the Mets after signing a two-year, $10 million deal with the club this offseason. In 71 appearances, 54 and two-thirds innings pitched for the Chicago Cubs last season, the left-hander registered a 3.46 ARAP, 3.64 FIP, 1.427 WHIP, 69 strikeouts. The lefty will likely serve as the team's seventh inning reliever as well as their top lefty option with Luis Avila unlikely to join him as the second option. Ed Delany, MMO Zach Wheeler is entering a big season in his career after breaking out in 2018 with a 12-7 record to go along with a 3.31 era, 3.25 FIP, 1.124 whip, and 179 strikeouts and 29 starts, 182 and a third innings pitched. Wheeler, 28, was actually even better than Jacob Degram in the second half as he went 9-1 with a 1.68 era and 0.813 whip in his last 11 starts. The right-hander is entering the final year of team control and will be a free agent after the 2019 season. Ed Delany, MMO Peter Alonso is likely going to be the buzz of spring training this year given his apparent motivation to earn the starting first base job on opening day. Brody Van Wagenen has on a multitude of occasions said the top prospect first baseman can win the job, with the team claiming to be okay for going an extra year of control if he earns the job. If the team were to keep Alonso down in the AAA Syracuse until around April 11, the team would gain one year of control and could then call him up, with this being a service time manipulation tactic that many teams have used with their young players. Alonso, 24, hit .285.395.579 with 36 home runs and 119 RBI in 2018 split between AA Binghamton and AAA Las Vegas. After the season was over, he went down to the Arizona Fall League where he played in 27 games hitting .259, .339, with 6 home runs and 27 RBI. The slugger got to face off against Noah Syndergaard today, and he embraced that opportunity as noted by Ken Davidoff of the New York Post. It's good to see the best. We've got a hell of a pitching staff. I think it's going to help even more in preparation, facing our guys. That's going to be really awesome, Ed Delaney, MMO Robinson Cano was one of the crown jewels of the offseason for the Mets coming over from the Seattle Mariners along with top closer Edwin Diaz in exchange for Jared Kalanick, Justin Dunn, Anthony Swarzik, Jay Bruce, and Jerzen Bautista. Cano, 36, is looking to continue raking in 2019 as despite being suspended 80 games for ped use, the former Yankee hit .303, with 10 home runs and 50 RBI in the 80 games he did appear in. The slugger has appeared in eight All-Star games throughout his career and finished in the top 10 for MVP voting six times. Mickey Calloway has already announced that Cano will be hitting third in the lineup for the Mets this season. Ed Delany, MMO speaking of former Yankees, Todd Frazier will be playing his second season in orange and blue in 2019. Frazier, 33, hit .213, .303, .390 with 18 home runs and 59 RBI in his first season with the Mets in 2018. On the defensive side, Frazier had two defensive runs saved and a 2.4 UZR. The infielder is set to be in more of a part-time role this season splitting time between first and third base and likely serving as the main thumper off the bench once Alonso is called up. Until that point, it is likely he makes most of his starts at first. 